big ball. And it's Sunday and it's hot, hot, hot. I'm talking, it's 100 degrees in the car again. I'm just like an oven baker now. I'm just like, I'm ready for bakery. I'm ready for my baking class. Turn right on West Valley Boulevard. It's so hot. I just don't understand why it's consistently well over 100 degrees here. It's like, really? Can't we come up with another? Oh my gosh, the cleaners is gone. There was a shop there on this corner of Valley and Atlantic for since the 50s. And it was a cleaners, it had a beautiful neon sign that said cleaners on it. It's gone. Sad. 213-713-8954. 8954-greenattt.net. On the Twitter, Mr. Bob at Bob Bob8954. And of course, you're watching Bob's Daily Devo here on YouTube, where it's, did I mention? It's hot. How hot is it? It's so hot. I told my family that I got this quesadilla. I said, I don't have to worry about it. I can just heat it up. I'll just stick it out on the hood of the car. And it'll be baked. It'll be baked well done in just a few minutes. I mean, between the sun and the, it's like, you know. Just you, well, it's dirty. No, get a wet wipe, just wipe it off, and then you put it on top of the hood, and boom, it's cooked. It's cooked, cooked, cooked. I put it on top of this glass here. I've got a, I've got a glass cooking surface up here. The skylight right up here. This little skylight. Skylight. I can just put stuff on top of that glass, and that bit. It's hot. It's hot, baby. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to be at I'm going to be at Hillsong in about uh, 16 minutes, 15 minutes, and I'll go and I'm going to my first time I'm going to go to the Spanish service. Pretty sure Spanish service is today. At least I'm I'm planning my whole day around the Spanish service. If there ain't no Spanish service, then oh well, I'll just have to I'll just hang out. You know, maybe I'll get a nap. Or I already went to Costco. I got some more of these here containers. Yep, and no, they don't come with the Casa del Green label on there. I put those on there myself. So, because I had pineapple in a can, and the pineapple in the can was uh, rusting. The can was rusting. And if you, have a, if you have an ice container that is your lifeline, I mean, I drink all my fluids with ice. I like it that way. So... If the, if, the, if the ice container is full of rust, not good, Sherlock, not good. So I'm gonna pass the 10. My intuition would tell me take the 10, but the math program says take the 60. So I'm gonna do what this math program says. I'll take the 60, not the 10. Even though I feel as though, by the way, if you wanna get these containers, they're made by Thermos, and they're called the, uh, 16 ounce vacuum insulated tumblers. Seven hours of hot, 18 hours of cold, baby. Now that's some, that's some good times there. That's almost a whole day. Ice, ice, baby. I like that because I put the uh, ice in a cup, such as this one here, and it's gone, baby. The ice is gone so quick, make your little head spin. You are like, wow, what happened to the ice? Ice is gone. It's become boiling hot water in 100 degree weather here. I mean, if you put something in the oven 100 degrees, it will cook. It will get done. It's not going to burn. I had an interesting experience at a family member's home. I was trying to heat up this pizza. I put it in an oven, and it wasn't the oven I was used to. It was an electric oven. And I thought that the Lord just spoke to me a little whisper, just a little... And I, I felt the brushing of angel wings. I went in and the pizza was on fire. Flames, 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 baby. It was on fire, flames. So I, I took the flaming box out threw it in the sink, took the hose, hosed it all down, salvaged about three pieces, four pieces of pizza. It was about it was about a half the pizza left, so it wasn't like it was a you know a whole pizza. 
but I scalvished the ones I could, do the whole menagerie in a can after I hosed it down, went back in the oven, brushed out the ashes, aired out the whole house. That was like, that was scary. I don't like fire. Fire is not good unless it's under control. Like the, the Holy Spirit is a fire. And God is a, is a consuming fire. These fires are good, baby. They're good. Good fire. Good fire. Faithful fire. A fire that's going to burn away the chaff. A fire that's going to burn away the sin. A fire that's going to delight the Father because of the glory of God. That's a real good fire. Good fire. But an out of control fire, a fire that has nothing to do with holiness or righteousness, no, that's not good. That's just a destructive hell fire. That's just a fire from the pit of hell. It's there to steal, kill, and destroy. Kill, destroy, and steal. Go, 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 go. The devil likes that kind of fire. The devil likes that kind of fire. The devil likes to take away. The devil likes to kill. The devil likes to destroy. The devil enjoys the, the opulence of crazy insanity. I saw this movie called uh, the, uh, the Long Green Mile. Something like that. <laughs> and it was Tom Hanks, and it was this huge, huge actor. Really good guy. I think he's passed away now, but he was the most wonderful man in that, in that deal. A very simple man, but a very good man. A man that was filled with heaven. A, guy, a man that was, was blessed with the Holy Spirit. He had a gift. And he could see and feel and hear to the, to the presence of the Holy Spirit. And he healed over and over and over again. He would heal. He would be able to suck out and breathe in. And it was amazing. And at one point, there was a couple of knuckleheads. And he had the one knucklehead, he got him, and he kind of made him okay. And then the other knucklehead, he, he used the first knucklehead to kill the other knucklehead. They were like bang, 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 boom, boom, boom. You know, it was amazing. Yeah, almost there now. I love you today, brothers and sisters, and I uh, love my family, and I'm working, working, working every day to get back home, to be back with my family, to be home with an antelope play. Convention Center. Exit 14A Conventions. I gotta look for that. I love the way the LA Freeway, the 10, goes across Los Angeles. Los Angeles did not want to have any interruptions. Los Angeles did not want to have any interruptions. Did I mention? No interruptions for Los Angeles. What they did is, they built the freeway in Los Angeles like an ever ever living bridge. They just made the longest bridge on earth. It goes all through downtown LA. I'm riding on top of a bridge. It goes for about two miles. And they wonder, gee, how do you how are you gonna do that? How are you going to and this is how. The fact of the matter is that I Getting closer here. I think it'd be better to just go north. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna counterman this. This machine. This old machine. I'm gonna counterman the machine and just, just do what I want to do. I want to get off at San Pedro. I, I think that that makes more sense to get off at San Pedro and go north rather than getting off and going up and over. They want me to go on the freeway, but I don't want to go on there. I'd rather just get off. I can just take the streets on the boulevard here. So that's what I'll do. And come up at Hill Street this way. That'll work. So, yeah, it's a funny thing. We're riding above the city. It's gotta be for, I haven't measured it, but a couple miles, you know. It's just riding above the city on a bridge. An endless, eternal freeway bridge. Amazing. Just amazing. 
I'm tired. I'm worn out. I feel very uninspired. I don't feel any any great words. I don't feel any desire to talk, 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 talk. I just am tired. I'm tired. I'm not sick, but I'm tired. I'm, I'm uh, tired, but I'm not discouraged. I'm just tired, just worn out, you know. I think one of the reasons why I stayed up really late watching that movie last night, it was a great movie that I had to get up early and then get out and get going, and then I went to the park and I again was, I need to get a good night's sleep. Exit right. I don't know how, I don't know how these people do it, they stay up. Well, I, I do all-nighters. I do an all-nighter every, every few days. And it's like, really? How do you do that? How do you do an all-nighter every single day? It's just, I don't know how you do it. All right, let's see where we go now. Let's see if we can get this going here. Turn left. I will do that. That'll do. That makes sense. In half a mile, turn right on South Hill Street. There we go. See, I think it makes much more sense. I'm going to pass Sandy Alley here. The guys are the flags. They're waving the flags. Like, that's gonna. I'm gonna stop what I'm doing and jump into a parking spot because the guy's waving a flag. I don't know how they figure that. But they do. They figure that if you just wave a flag with enough strength, that they're gonna somehow or another. They're gonna somehow or another. They're gonna somehow or another. What in the world is this person doing? I see what they're doing. They're crossing over. They're crossing over out of the crosswalk. Do not block intersection. I got it. I got it. I got it. Right. Maple Street. I remember this. This is going to be Little Mexico here. Uh, they got wedding dresses, hobbits designs, children garments. Here we go. By the way, my number is 12137138954. 8954green att.net on the Twitter, Mr. Bob at Bob Bob8954. And just for a disclaimer, if my family needs me, I won't be available to you. If my family does not tell me that they need me and I have time, I'll be glad to meet with you. And of course, uh, I'm on call. So uh, my schedule is always sort of up in, in the air. In 1,000 feet, turn right on South Hill Street. You don't have to be. They gave the Medicare. With their shopping, you just answer eight simple questions to find a plan that's best for you. Find a plan that's best for you. Yeah. Street, almost there, almost there, almost there. 
through a red light. Good thing I watched and pay attention, huh? Here's Hill Street, so I'm almost home now. All right. Turn right on South Hill Street. All right, now I'm in. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Good job. Now just look for the spot. Park in any spot. That guy got a spot right there. Park in any feet. spot. You'll arrive. Your destination 900, will be on your right. 900 feet. All right, so if I can park anywhere in here, I can be okay. I can park anywhere in here as long as it's a legal parking spot. I'll be all right. Take it nice and easy. Nice and easy, Charlie. Nice and easy, Charlie. That's a red zone. Can't park there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. You got to see. Look, 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 look. Mirror key. Mirror key. Oh, isn't that awesome? Look at the bike lanes. Look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing? Bicycle rings. Look at the neat fire connection thing. That's so cool, so cool, so cool. All right, except Saturday and Sunday. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. I think I can park right here. All right. Some reasons I find haven't found yet. Yeah. 